Game over. All right, time for another midweek video. Midweek video number 13. Three simple breakaway deadfall traps that you can do in a matter of minutes. Let's get to it. When I think of securing food sources in the wild, I think of two things, active and passive. Active means I'm out there with a crossbow, a bow and arrow, a gun, air rifle, fishing pole. I'm actively trying to get that meat, okay? Passive means I'm setting up some type of trap or snare to do the work for me. So let's think of the passive today and work on breakaway deadfall traps. I'm gonna show you three of these. Now, it's the same design, but done three different ways depending on the resources that you're carrying or that are available to you. This first one here, I'm gonna get a small stick and just get all the nubs off of this, thorns, to smooth it out. And then I'm gonna make two stop cuts. I wanna make one on one side and then one probably about two or three inches below. Let's go with about two inches on the opposite side. Stop cut is nothing more than taking your saw and cutting into it no more than 50%. Then we're gonna flip it over and do one two inches down right there as well. And this is the most difficult part is trying to get this exactly 50% and in line with the one on the opposite side. Now taking my thumbs, I'm gonna bend it down where that stop cut is and it creates a split. Then I'm gonna work that split all the way to my other stop cut. Then from here, all you gotta do is just clean them up a little bit. You don't want any of these little bumps on here or anything to cause any type of interference. Just get them cleaned up. Take a couple of seconds here to make it look good. So what you created here is a simple breakaway bait stick. The deadfall weight is on top, it simply breaks away, and the dead weight falls. Some refer to this as a barber chair because it looks like a chair. It goes down like this. Either way, it's a breakaway. So this simple design will carry into our next three traps. Looking at this, one is longer than the other. The shorter one, I want to clean the bottom up. Just make it nice and flat. And the top one here, we're going to go ahead and round that bad boy off. Kind of like how you would with a tent stake. If you're gonna use a log like this, you wanna make sure that it's completely flat. That way there's no lumps or bumps in here where the rodent could actually be injured or not hurt at all and scurry away. So just try to even it out as best as you can. So for our first trap, we're gonna use our breakaway and a bait stick. All we're gonna do is find a small twig like this, a foot or less in length. I'm gonna flatten one end over here and add a point to the other end. For the first trap, we're gonna go ahead and put our breakaway together and lift it up just enough to slide in the flat end of our bait stick. The bait stick will act as a fulcrum. The animal will stand up to reach the bait and when it does, its body weight will pull down, causing the trap to break away. Now the beauty of this trap is you can bait the stick, let's say peanut butter across the entire stick, or you can shove it to the very back end over here and you'll be in business. The point is once that animal reaches up with its mouth or its little nasty paws and grabs that stick, game over. 
So to make this trap 100% successful, meaning that it works, not that you're going to get something, because that's the whole thing about trapping, it's not getting, right? You're out there setting up multiple traps, trying to get something, passively trapping, okay? But to make it successful, meaning it's going to work, you want this breakaway vertical, not leaning this way or this way, all right? Now, I'm going to show you a similar trap using cordage instead of a bait stick. So all we're going to do is we're going to take our smaller piece of our breakaway and we're going to tie an arbor knot around the back side of it. You've seen me do this 10,000 or 10 million times. I'm just going to go around this bad boy and go back through it. it. Creates an overhand knot and then we're going to make an overhand knot on a small tail and we're going to pull that bad boy tight and lock it in place. On the opposite end, go ahead and tie another arbor knot on a stick. Just grab a stick off the ground. Doesn't matter the size or thickness. Just keep it, you know, relative. You don't want anything two feet long. Just get a good eight inch stick, whatever, and tie an arbor knot right here. So the point of this trap is that we replaced our bait stick with bait string. So now we have a T-handle at this end we have an adjustable bait string that we can size up to our deadfall trap. And this bait string is designed so you can bait that string anywhere you want or the entire string. If the animal even nudges that string, say with its butt or its tail, it's coming down. So this last deadfall trap is one of my personal favorites. It's composed of a Y branch. So you can envision the breakaway section here and your bait stick right there. Now some would think this was the bottom, but then the stick will jut up into our deadfall. So I'm gonna turn it around, and that way it goes down in an angle, kind of like how our bait string did. I wanna do my barber chair breakaway right here. And just like the two previous traps, you can go ahead and bait the pointy end of that stick and get that animal's head right under that log, or simply use it as a fulcrum and bait the actual stick itself. Anything that touches that, game over. And there you go, three simple breakaway deadfall traps that you can do in a matter of minutes. Now keep in mind that trapping is not catching. And the more you have out there, the higher your percentage will become. So with that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Etsy page. Both links are found inside my description box, so please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun, I'm going to catch you next time.